Hey, what's up guys? This is Chiggs here from Chiggs Tech Reviews and I'm going to show you today how you can airplay from your iPad to your Mac. Um, what you need, first of all, is this piece of software. So it's called Reflector 2. The link will be in the description. And this is the website, airsquirrels.com slash reflector. Um, yeah, the link will be in the description. Download this. It's free to try. And if you like it, then of course you can purchase this app. So download the software like you normally would. And as soon as that's downloaded, just go through all the steps to install it. Install it like you normally would. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to install it again. So here it is. Here's the app. OK, so if I just show you the settings for this app, so this is what you can do. You can broadcast the name. So in my case, it's Chigs Mac Mini, or you can use a system name, or you can use a completely different name if you like. Show client name always off on hover. You can keep this always on top. Show notifications on device content. Um, show quick connect window on the startup. So this is the connection. I've set it on 720p. You can go full HD if you like, or you can even go lower res. Okay, the default scale is to fit, fill the screen. I'll show you how that looks in a bit. Um, or you can do these two options, default size or best for retina. You can put security on this. You can put a password of your choice, or you can put an on-screen code. It'll be a random on-screen. I think it's a five-digit code, which you enter on your uh, devices to connect. Um, on connection, you, these are the options. You can connect and show device, connect with high device, or prompt to approve. You can display full screen, show frames automatically or none, the frame going around the window, and the full screen background. You can either have the desktop background or solid color. You can, you can actually record what you're air playing. So if you're playing a game on your iPad, you can record that content, and you can choose the recording resolution here. Um, I'll just put that to full HD and high. Okay, um, allow Reflector Director to discover this device. I haven't even tried this yet, haven't needed to, and I haven't tried the student option either. Okay, and advanced options are this. Okay, you can, you can even do Google Cast here. All right, so to show you how this looks, I'm going to take a video at the same time. And this video will come up on the screen of my iPad. So here's my iPad. I'm videoing at the moment. What you do now on the iPad is scroll that upwards, AirPlay will appear. And if you click on AirPlay, your Mac Mini name will appear. Click on that and click Mirroring. As soon as you do that, on the screen, that will come up. Okay, so now, I don't know why my flash is on. Stop. Settings. So now if I open something on this, that's how it looks on the screen. So if I open something on this, Sky News, for example, that opens on the screen straight away, as you can see. And whatever I do on the iPad will appear on the screen as a mirror, screen mirroring. So the same applies to games, videos. You can load a game up and you can watch it on the big screen and you can play it with your fingers on the, on the small screen. So it's a really useful app. I really do like it, so I'm recommending this. Um, it works great with YouTube as well. I'll show you how YouTube opens on this. It's quite good. So there you go, that's YouTube. If I just play any video, it will disappear, and then you'll just see a video on your screen, which I think is brilliant. So that was how to airplay from iPad to Mac. Thanks for watching. I hope I helped someone out there.